Lifting floorboards is really hard work. With traditional tools like hammer and crowbar, you need to bend down at every single joist. Gee, all that for just one board. The Easy Lifter removes floorboards and decking quickly and easily. Just slip the lower grip under the boards and pull the shaft towards you. The long handle and jaws act like a giant lever to take the strain out of the lift. As you move along, you just kick the jaws out then slide them back under, so you never need to bend down. If you just want to get rid of the boards, you can do the job in a fraction of the time. If you want to reuse the floorboards, you attach the moulded rubber to the jaw to protect the timber. Even with wide pine floors, you save heaps of time and you won't mark the boards. My invention saves your back, your floorboards and loads of time. Please welcome from Brisbane, Mark Parfumi. Hey Mark. How are you doing? How are you going? It looks a bit like something the Grim Reaper would carry around. Well, it's a wrecking tool. Yeah, it yeah. does the job. It does, certainly does. I've got the old way, you've got the new way, but mm -hmm. can we swap? Because I'd yeah, love yeah, to have okay. a go. Can you show me how ergonomically uh, people have done this in the past? Okay, generally, you, you know, you're, you're getting the wrecking bar, yeah. and you're bending over, you're putting it on top of the joist, yeah. and you're pushing the tool away from you. Yeah, right, okay. See? And then you're going along each and doing that to do that. So it's pretty labour intensive. And it's one at a time, right? Yeah, one at a time. Whereas Correct. with yours, is that right? Yep. You get it sort of flush mm -hmm. near the thing mm -hmm. and just... Uh, in the pool. That's right. That's it. And they're done. Easy. Um, come over to the panel. Mm -hmm. How much are they going to cost? Um, recommended retail price, probably $149.95. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it's not $150, eh? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, and get it recommended. <laughs> recommended. Yeah. recommended. No, yeah. And how much time do you think it would save if used by someone and they got the hang of it? Generally, we're using the old tools. Yeah. It would take you three hours. With the easy lift that we're saying one hour. Three times as quick? Yep. Vena. Mark, um, yes. can you actually adjust the height of that shaft so that you know people obviously can use it and this is really important because in a way you know to prevent back injuries um, and so on. As long as you're standing at a standing position right. uh, and you leave it towards yourself the actual action is in the in the jaw mm -hmm. um, and it's got a we believe it's got enough height in the shaft for that action to, to, to work. It felt very comfortable I was upright just going like that just yeah. using my arms and not can yeah. I do it? But yeah. Yeah. And you're at standing position. Yeah. What are some of the advantages of, of yours, uh, Easy Lifter, compared to the others? Well, the, the ones that are out in the market at the moment are uh, a wrecking bar, like what you've just seen, uh, a hammer, uh, a crowbar, that sort of thing. Basically, with, with We those... had the inventor of the hammer on last week. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he must have been old. <laughs> <laughs> You're using two <laughs> tools usually and you're bending over mm. um, and, and you're creating a lot of back strain and, and at the same time you're really only lifting one board at a time. Um, with my device you're actually at a standing position, um, you pull it towards yourself and three boards come up at one time. Mm. Uh, so at the moment uh, I, I don't believe that there is a, a device out there that can do that. Mm. Sally? Your market's a great looking piece of equipment. Thank you. It's also quite the weapon. Um, and I wonder, <laughs> since you're using that levering action, does yep. it have to be as heavy as it is? Look, um, th that's a, a working prototype. Uh, right. And I think the production model will probably be a, a tad lighter. Can I still get that in and use it if they've got a substrate that's right underneath? The, the main thing is, as long as the jaw can get in between the, the, the horizontal board, yeah. and, and there's enough um, gap for that to, to, to happen, which is only probably about 200 mil. Um, the, the, the tool can work. I noticed that you're putting the, the uh, tines in there yep. a little bit away from the joist. Yes. Is there a tendency when you're doing the force out there for the, uh, well, on hardwood flooring with rusted in nails, for it to break along the joist rather than pull clear? There's always a possibility of, of that happening. You yeah. know, with any demolition job, you, you're going to have some boards break. And, and mm. what we're trying to um, enhance here is that we can re recycle a lot of the boards mm. so for other for resale at a later date mm. um, but most of the time if, if you keep that jaw uh, and bring, put it down next to the joist mm. just because it's it, the board actually lifts away from the joist mm. and it being hardwood it shouldn't snap mm. summing up Vina 
Mark, I love the fact that you can do this job so much more efficiently, removing multiple boards at the same time. Just don't tell my dentist this concept, because, you know, if he starts <laughs> to think about putting it in dentistry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, backstage, I was having a lot of fun hefting that thing around, and the crew and I decided it should be called the Grim Ripper. The Grim oh, Ripper. Oh, I like it. <laughs> oh, I can't match that. This is a, superior, uh, a distinctly superior tool to what's available. The fact that you're pulling rather than pushing, it's going to do a lot of back. So, higher industry and demolition, it's got to be a goer. Good on you, Mark. Please thank Mark Perfumi. Thank you very much, Mark. Okay. Good luck with it.